If you thought that segment was depressing, uh, unfortunately, I've got to raise the bar a little bit because now we're going to talk a little bit about Delonte West. I'm not going to talk as in-depth on this because I don't want to speculate and it seems like there are a lot of things that we don't know currently right now about the Delonte West thing. If you frequent Mavs Twitter or just NBA Twitter in general, you've probably seen a lot of stories and a lot of people talking about recent viral videos of Delonte West. Now, Delonte West, also a former Maverick, played with us from, I think, 2011, 2012. It was post-championship. I believe we were his last NBA team. He played for several different teams, drafted by the Celtics, then he played for the Sonics, then he played for the Cavaliers, where there were all those quiet rumors, whispers, and allegations that he had actually slept with LeBron James's mom while they were teammates. Yep. Then you had a, I believe, a return to Boston, then Dallas, and I think that was it for his NBA career. I know he had a 2015 G League comeback, and he played before that overseas in China, but I don't think he's played in the league for about, like, in the main roster league for about seven years, and... Man, the the guy was the guy was a good player. He also has had his battles with bipolar disorder. Now you're hearing uh I think it was his cousin talking about multiple personality disorder. And he's been homeless. There's been viral videos of him several times in recent years. I think 2016 had a viral video of him appearing to be homeless on the streets begging for money. There was another video then in 2019 uh where he looked to be very much in distress living on the streets as well. And his cousin kind of talked about some of his mental health issues. This series, these two videos that I saw, I, I'm not going to show them here on the channel, by the way. Um, that it's not, it's not any, it's uncomfortable to watch. I will talk about a little bit about what happens in the video, but I, I don't want to show the video. I don't know the full context, but the video starts uh, someone's recording a man in the street. Delonte West is basically laying face down on the ground uh, in the middle of the street. Cars are rolling by, and this dude is just kicking the snot out of him, like stomping on the back of his head while he's laying down. It's really uncomfortable to watch. It's his He's thoroughly beaten down. Don't know what started it. Don't know context, but it's a very difficult watch all the same. And then the next video, you see him in handcuffs, Delonte in handcuffs, sitting on the curb. And it, it's just hearing him talk is he's out of it. Like, I, I mean, obviously, the way he was just getting his, his ass kicked, if the videos, you know, correspond to one another, maybe that that's uh, helping with his disorientation. Or maybe it's just something, uh, just his mental state in general from that but if he if you have like bipolar disorder or some of these other things there's probably medications and things he's supposed to be on and obviously if he's homeless and in the state that he's in or has a drug problem which has also been attested to in recent years then he's not getting the help he needs so yeah it's it's um, it's amazing in the worst kind of way how far his life fell. He was a first round draft pick of the Celtics. I think the 24th overall pick. He he was a quality player. Like he had very nice moments throughout his career. And even his, his last swim in the NBA as a Maverick. Uh, I, I thought he was a pretty, I, I mean, I don't know obviously anything behind the scenes, but I thought he was a pretty good, uh, pretty good player for us. Pretty good. Seemed well liked by his teammates. And the only negative thing I can kind of remember regarding Delonte West as the Maverick was you had, I can't remember who we were playing. I want to say it was like the Lakers or something where he basically gave like, they said it was a wet willy. He didn't give a wet willy to the guy. He just like jabbed the guy with his finger in his ear and got uh, teed up. I don't remember if he had ejected, but it was just a really weird moment where people are like, dude, what are you, what are you doing? And it basically looked like a wet willy, but obviously it wasn't. It was just a jab, a finger jab in the ear, which couldn't have felt nice. But uh, it, it's he needs help. Like, that's what it boils down to. And you've had 
a lot of players around the league talking about it for, you know, friends and former teammates and things. Jameer Nelson talked about it. A number of the Lakers apparently were talking about it in the locker room before their game the other night. And by the way, yes, that includes LeBron who uh, I think has largely stayed out of all matters. Delonte West since all that happened in LeBron's first swim through Cleveland. And so you have just all of this outcry. You even have former Cowboys wide receiver, Des Bryant talking about how he wants to help Delonte and, I don't know, he didn't really elaborate on the how of it, but it's clear he needs help. So whether it's the NBA who steps in or it's uh, a, a, you know, some kind of a collection of other current and former players, the guy needs help. And the, I think the saddest part about this whole thing is from everything we've been told up till now, it sounds like he's largely rejected that help. That's probably the biggest problem with it. With wherever his mental health is, he he sounds like he's kind of been in this destructive pattern where he rejects help. So even when people have tried to help him, he either dives headfirst back into it after a while or he just outright rejects the help. So I don't know what needs to be done, but this is this is a this is a really hard thing to see like for any athlete. It's it's the worst fear and perception we're talking about a guy who in his career i think made 16 million dollars nothing you know compared to the standards of like high-end guys today it's nothing but uh considering he hasn't played since 2012 it wasn't the same cap explosion figures that you see now so for your entire career to be 16 million dollars it's still a lot of money but it's worth noting like how did you lose 16 million dollars in that span of time i it is what it is, man. Some sometimes that just happens with some of these guys who came from nothing, got handed a lot, just not knowing how to manage it and maintain it, so that in almost record time after their career is done, it's like they never had it in the first place. That's that's the problem there. The main thing, I don't know what it's gonna take. Someone's gotta help Delonte.